Hey guys, alrighty. So, quite the interesting day today. Um, you know, we we started out yesterday. You know, we just kind of had a pretty tight rain today, but today we got a big move day. Um, so, you know, we had a really really large opening drop, and then we kind of you know, we really chopped. And honestly, going into power hour, you know, I will even say after the big drop, which ended about ten thirty. You know, we had we had a pretty strong recovery into about noon. And honestly, none of that recovery was super bullish. I mean, we kept pushing up and I did get stopped out twice on a short before I finally won on one. But we just never really had support to keep pushing up and we just kept pushing. And, you know, realistically, I'm not really sure where that came from, but we just pushed up and then finally we dropped. And then, you know, power hour came and it was the same thing for the whole day until basically 315 we were riding the 15 minute 5 and 20 ema lower which again is extremely bearish and we had sellers and nothing really showed me that we could see a big recovery but in the end they ended up crushing the vix once again although i will say the rally started power hour before the vix started to crush so you know, either some big money wanted to run it up so they could exit, or maybe we saw some people sh exit their shorts early, uh, thinking CPI might come in cold tomorrow. So tomorrow is CPI day. Um, for the most part, you know, this is a hard one to predict because Bloomberg, Cleveland Fed, and um, Consensus are all on the same exact level. So there's not a really good variation to, to get a tighter range. But for the most part right now, you know, my prediction is a, a year over year at 3.5%, a month over month at 0.4%, core year over year at 3.8%, and then core month over month at 0.4%. Now for the last basically four readings, we have seen actual come in higher than forecast. Previous to that, forecast was always higher uh, than actual. So we are seeing a flipping trend there. So if that trend continues, then we are going to get, because forecast right now is 3.4% for year over year and 3.7% for uh, core year over year, we're going to get probably a pretty bearish reaction. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the more important data sets that we're going to get because you know, Jay Powell just got done saying that the last two months of CPI was pretty much seasonality and that he didn't really care about it and he wasn't really super concerned about it going into, uh, you know, FOMOC in uh, next month in May. So that was said. However, we saw last week, you know, and that was mostly on this day right here, but last week the markets readjusted. They priced in the odds of the first cut in September. So my opinion here is if, if we get an off reading at 3.2%, which I doubt we get that low of, a, of year over year, but most likely if we come in below forecast, we could see a pretty solid pump if core year over year comes in lower than previous. So that would be 3.7% or lower. That is the best bull case that would show, okay, maybe inflation is just, you know, a slight rebound and we're going to go back down and you could, you know, you could justify, well, core is coming down, so it's okay. Um, but on the contrary, if we get the, the continuation of trend of actual being higher than forecast and we get a 3.5% year over year and a 3.8% core, which is unchanged, or if we get a 3.9% core, a random throw number out there, um, I really do think we might finally get our big bear day. Now, going into power hour, we had probably the most bearish technical setup that I have seen going into a data day or a CPI day since this six, five month long run that we are in has started. We realistically, we were set up because we were going to potentially close below the daily 20 EMA support, you know, and we honestly, for most of the day, we were repeating the Wednesday into Thursday pattern, but now we've got the big wick. So what we ended up doing is we just closed inside the range here. So, you know, if we look at our forecast here from close, this is a really easy one to give out targets because we're in the middle of our range. Either bulls come in tomorrow 
pump us at least a percent over supply at 523.43 and probably even see an all-time high and we break out. Or the bears come in and they send us down to this critical 512.85 to 513.07 support, which is a 1.24% drop. Now, realistically, if we get a bigger drop, like something like this, which we have not had a 2% down day, and I think it's it's been almost a year now, uh, or it's been longer than a year technically, but trading day wise, it's like 200 and I think we're at like 290 trading days. I need to see if I can verify that number somewhere. But if we can close under 507.96, I think our major correction is coming lower and is gonna happen. So this is kind of our pivot levels to start realistically. 513 and 523. Now going over to ES, same thing here. We got our pivot of support at 5185 to 5196. And then we got 5308. If we get a bigger breakdown, we really could be looking at this 4960 to 4990. Now over on the queue, same thing here. You know, we got this terribly long range right here. And this is our best opportunity to break out. So we either get the big breakout over critical 446.42 supply and resistance, which this is also a weekly resistance, <coughs> which would be a 1% move up. And then boom, about a 1.6% gets us a new all-time highs. Or we get dropped right back to 435.3 and 433.85, which is just under a 2% down day. That really isn't a big move for the Qs. But, you know, a 3% move down, which we've seen, and then if we get a 3% move, likely we get the 2% on, on SPY, would be right there about 429 area. Now, going over to NQ here, uh, I do need to update this real quick here. We put a new supply in right, um, right there. Um, so, we, we really, again, we had a bearish setup because we had a rejection off this, and we actually, until power hour, all four charts were going to get a new supply and a new resistance area. But of course, we ended up getting a double bottom basically and bullish engulfing here. So, you know, we still have 18,392 as our critical resistance right here. So really until we're over that, uh, you know, our upside target is 18,582. So from close here, that's, you know, about a 1% day, all time highs of just under 2% day. And then, you know, again, same thing, bear time here. If we want to see a bearish move, our first critical demand is that 18.069. That's a 1.75% drop. Realistically, though, bears are going to want to close it under right here, which is at 17.859, uh, which is a 3% drop. Now, I would say a soft close under 17.980 would be even, even bearish, too, because that would break the 50 EMA support. And that would put us under our support that goes all the way back to March 5th. So same thing here. We're, we're stuck in the middle of the range. I think tomorrow's going to break that range. Now, we're zoomed out on the VIX here. So this is interesting. And again, until power hour, when we crushed the VIX, we were set up to get a new demand right here. And actually, I have it still because that's where it was set up. So we were going to get a new demand at 15.17. We did not end up getting that. Just because they crushed the VIX at the last second there. So, you know, from here, you can see we are closed going into CPI basically at the five five month high level. So, you know, volatility is high. If the numbers don't come in higher than forecast and we just get, you know, unchanged maybe, or especially if we get lower than forecast, they are probably going to slam the VIX lower and crush it. And we are probably going to get a very big breakout. Now, on the other side of that, we are at a really big bounce spot here. So if we get a green day on the VIX, especially if we can close back over 16.46 and put a demand here, that's going to turn previous supply and resistance into now demand and support. And that's going to start the next breakup on the breakout on the VIX. So realistically here, I mean, we are still in an uptrend and we're still trying to break out here on the VIX. We just can't seem to do it. So really, you know, tomorrow is a critical day. You know, going into close before power hour, I was very bearish. I thought for sure this was going to be the, the data that starts the 5 to 10% correction lower. Uh, which again is healthy and is needed in a bull run. Um, and realistically, I mean, if you look at this market, you know, for the last month, you know, we're we're just consolidating. 
not a lot is really happening. We're not making the same moves up that we were. We just don't have the, the data to push us higher and, you know, the buying to do it. So, um, you know, I'm still, I'm still hopeful that this data is what we need to see the correction because I think that will be what is needed for one, some smoother trading and two, for the next major leg up, which will be better for trading too. Um, but again, you know, with, with this pop at the end of the day here, from a technical standpoint, it's 50-50. It's I mean, realistically, it's 50-50. I mean, this reminds me almost of the 20th where we could see a big breakout, but you know, from the same side of things too, I mean, it, it's also a day like here on the 28th where we kind of had the failed breakdown, failed recovery, and then boom, double top lower. So it really is anybody's game tomorrow. I'm curious. My prediction is a hotter CPI, uh, but we'll see what the market brings. So.